that she misled the American people over and over and over again while under federal investigation. In the absence of the truth, bullcrap prevails. So here come the truth, jokers. Look at what's been going on. All the people are coming out, the dang walking dead. You know, the people who don't pay attention to politics until the election cycle comes around. And they get so emotional. They, they get all into it and, you know, they pick their sides and they fight against each other. But in reality... They ain't getting nowhere with it. Yeah. So you're falling for the little racist angle. You're fighting each other. You're ripping up the signs. And, oh yeah, let me go to this. This, this is something here. How is it that this little fake joker right here comes out and endorses Donald Trump? Now, elections are all about perception. So when you see this guy endorsing Donald Trump, you will say, oh, well, Donald Trump is a racist because he's endorsing Donald Trump. But here's the thing. What is KKK? Well, the KKK was created by the Democrats. The KKK still belongs to the Democrats. So this guy right here knows that if he comes out and throws his support behind Donald Trump, it's going to get the reaction of this. That's the only reason why he's coming out and doing that. Lyndon B. Johnson did the same thing in the 1964 election. He made an ad saying that Barry Goldwater was endorsed by the KKK. But how is he going to say that when the KKK is a democratic entity? They are the prop, and I'm talking about the KKK. The Democrats are the most racist party in history, the only party in American history to kill black people because they wanted them to vote Democrat. Lyndon B. Johnson said, I'll have those N-words voting Democrat for the next 200 years. When he was talking about N-words, he was talking about black people. And black people, they still vote Democrat. Hey YouTube, what's up? So Trump just gave what I personally thought was an amazingly effective speech to wrap up the GOP convention. Before any of the official polls or the public reactions came out, all you had to do was turn on the television, go to a liberal news channel to see how effective the speech was. The media went insane. They were literally losing their minds on live television. And I'll show you guys the footage here in a bit, but I mean, I've never seen anything like this. Yeah, just watching the pundits, you would have thought the sky was falling or something. Everyone run for cover! Run for your lives! <laughs> the sky is falling! The sky is falling! Now for years, Republicans have called CNN the Clinton News Network. Just a year ago, when Trump announced that he was running for president, CNN on their website said that Trump had a 1% chance of becoming the GOP nominee. So you can imagine their panic when Trump officially became the Republican nominee. The entire CNN panel went on damage control. Here's a quick look at the triggering. Let me say, 
this was the most relentlessly negative acceptance speech. What Donald Trump did tonight is a disgrace. I just heard from some black Republicans, and I mean, he's going to need black Republicans who also very disappointed in this speech. Sorely disappointed today. I found myself halfway through the speech wishing they would bring Ivanka back. There was some schizophrenic, psychopathic attempt to pull apart the Obama coalition, but from a political point of view, he even botched that. Any solutions? Does he, was he actually offering anything well, look, in terms it, of, I mean, how is he it, going it, to, Anderson, how is he going, going to restore, going. restore law and order? Not this fear mongering, not this divisiveness, what is not wrong? this disgusting speech that we heard tonight what is that does wrong, nothing Anna? but bring out the darkness in America. What is, it is terrifying. What is, the Clinton News Network indeed. Guys, this is what pisses me off about lamestream liberal media news coverage. Because here's the truth, and you and I both know it, the majority of Americans didn't watch Trump's speech. Most Americans don't tune in to this sort of stuff. Most Americans get their news from Facebook, from internet news articles. Some people are even fooled by satire news articles like The Onion. And if they don't tune in, and if they don't get their news from the internet, then they get it from CNN panels like this one. Well, let me tell you something. I watched both the Trump speech and the aftermath at CNN. Let's take a look at both of them and see how they line up. I think that this uh, speech did nothing to grow his base. It did, a, to, it did a lot to energize his base. It did nothing to grow his tent. Oh, oh, really? Trump did absolutely nothing to grow his tent? I don't know if we were watching the same speech, and please correct me if I'm wrong, but I think Trump is the first GOP presidential nominee ever to make a conscientious outreach to the LGBTQ community. As your president, I will do everything in my power to protect our LGBTQ citizens from the violence and oppression of a hateful foreign ideology. Believe me. And I have to say, as a Republican, it is so nice to hear you cheering for what I just said. Thank you. And it didn't stop there. Not only did Trump reach out to the LGBTQ community, he also outlined and passionately talked about the economic woes of minorities and what he would do to help them. Nearly four in 10 African-American children are living in poverty, while 58% of African-American youth are now not employed. Two million more Latinos are in poverty today than when President Obama took his oath of office less than eight years ago. On the economy, I will outline reforms to add millions of new jobs and trillions in new wealth that can be used to rebuild America. So yeah, excuse me, CNN, how in the world does this not increase the size of Trump's tent? Look, we all know the truth. We all know that Republicans are caricatured as anti-gay and as racist. And Trump has broken these stereotypes. Look, there's still a long ways to go, but Trump is breaking new ground. He's breaking bread with voting blocks that were previously off limits to the GOP. Is one speech gonna change all of the years of her? Is one speech gonna all of a sudden make things right with these communities? No but he started the project of constructing a bridge. Let's see what else CNN got wrong. And the rest of it was just a relentlessly dark speech. He was describing some Mad Max America. But, 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 but the, the, the build a what? wall, all the, re you know what I'm saying? Some of the rhetoric doesn't match the noble thought yeah, of defending the defenseless. Look, you are a Republican who came to this convention hungry, for uplifting, unifying, optimistic, visionary speech, you're going home starving. You know, Trump did say some harsh things, but it wasn't to say that America was doomed. Rather, it was more of a diagnosis. It was to say, here is what's wrong with America, and here is what I, as Donald Trump, intend to do to help fix it. So again, CNN, did you guys really think Donald Trump had a dark tone? Because if so, you guys might want to get your hearing checked. To me, the speech sounded more hopeful and optimistic. We can accomplish these great things and so much more. All we need to do is start believing in ourselves and in our country again. Start believing. With these new economic policy, trillions and trillions of dollars will start flowing into our country. This new wealth will improve the quality of life 
for all Americans. We will build the roads, highways, bridges, tunnels, airports, and the railways of tomorrow. This, in turn, will create millions of more jobs. I don't know about you guys, but to me that sounded very optimistic. That sounded very hopeful for the future, and it painted a great picture of the potential that America has and what our country can become. Now before I get to the last clip, I want to point out that according to CNN's own poll, 73% of Americans think that Trump will move the country in the right direction. The same CNN poll found that 56% of viewers are more likely to support Trump after watching his speech. So it's no wonder that CNN went ballistic that they're on full panic mode and defense mode right now. They're hoping that somehow their own brilliant analysis is gonna stop the Trump train. Anyways, let's take a look at one final clip. Look at Congress people who are saying to me, I'm embarrassed of my party. He wow. sounded like a fear monger. This is not Republicanism. Wow. I think a lot of Republicans today I, are I, I, cringing I, I, and we, just we, pain. We don't, we don't, <laughs> Honestly, I think she made up those quotes. Given the polls, given that most people responded positively to Trump's speech, I can't imagine that so many people would be giving her negative reviews about Trump. Also, listening to the speech, I don't think he sounded like a fear monger. We are going to be considerate and compassionate to everyone. But my greatest compassion will be for our own struggling citizens. We will be a country of generosity and warmth. In that same segment, Anna Navarro tried to plant seeds claiming that Trump was somehow anti-Republican, even though in his own convention speech that they had just watched, Trump hit all of the talking points that Republicans have been talking about for decades. He talked about choice for education, eliminating wasteful government spending, upholding the Constitution, nominating Supreme Court justices that are conservative, lowering taxes, and dealing with government regulation. Don't believe me? Take a listen for yourselves. We will rescue kids from failing schools by helping their parents send them to a safe school of their choice. We are going to ask every department head in government to provide a list of wasteful spending on projects that we can eliminate in my first 100 days. We are going to appoint justices of the United States Supreme Court who will uphold our laws and our Constitution. The replacement of our beloved Justice Scalia will be a person of similar views, principles, and judicial philosophies. Very important. Reducing taxes will cause new companies and new jobs to come roaring back into our country. Believe me, it'll happen, and it'll happen fast. Then we're going to deal with the issue of regulation, one of the greatest job killers of them all. Excessive regulation is costing our country as much as $2 trillion a year, and we will end it very, very quickly. Guys, as frustrating and as sad as this is, this shouldn't be a surprise to any of us. Uh, in this election season, we have to be more hyper alert and vigilant than ever when it comes to the news that we consume. Be sure to check your sources and when you can, just check the news out for yourself. Watch the debates, watch the speeches, go to a rally and hear from the candidates firsthand. Don't let the corporate media filter out what they want to filter out and feed you what they want you to hear. But as always, those are just my thoughts and I would love to hear yours in the comments below. Please feel free to subscribe, like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash state of Daniel. I post on there almost every day. It's a great way to stay in touch. I don't always get the chance to make a video on all the topics I want to talk about because hey, face it, making a video is time consuming. So usually as breaking news happens or if I find a meme, I'll share it on Facebook with some commentary. So it's a great way to stay in touch if you guys want more content. So please, 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 please like my Facebook page dot com slash state of Daniel. And like I said, subscribe and I'll see you guys soon. up I've seen the truth and the truth is Trump I believe in this guy to make our country better because our country is going to hell we need Donald Trump
Obama has failed. As a black minister, I'll just tell you this, we're right in the inner city, and I'll tell you, we need jobs, we need uh, uh, employment, we need businesses, and I'll tell you, who better can help us help ourselves than Donald Trump? Donald Trump will do a great job for African Americans. I'll bring back jobs to this country from China and many other places, and I'll let people work and make a great living. I will be great for African Americans. He's saying stuff that needs to be said. When it comes to the general election, I think a significant number of African Americans will support Trump because of the entertainment fact that he has, that he, you know, persona, he's a businessman. Still waiting on this hope and change. I get callers who call up and say, I am black, I'm female, and I'm going from De I'm going from Democrat to Trump. They didn't say they're going from Democrat to Republican. They're going from Democrat to Trump. I think that's part of the phenomenon. We've had the Obamas, we've had the Clintons, we've had the Bushes. Let's try something different. And then, for lack of a better word, keeps trumping them. So it is what it is. I'm voting for Donald Trump. I hope he wins president, the uh, presidency of 2016. We need somebody who ain't afraid to stand up for America. Donald Trump is a man that I feel would not be afraid to stand up for America. Vote Donald Trump. You got my vote. No, I'm what? angry because we are we have been being lied to. Who? By whom? By the current group of politicians. Okay. They have been. Right, they have been. Yeah, so, so the we are behind this man. And our support for him is unconditional. We, is, we support him because we believe he is the only man who advanced the cause of freedom. He is the only man who has been successful. He knows how to generate success. And all these other politicians, they're trying to be politically correct. Forget being poli politically correct. Nobody wants somebody to be nice. We're tired of losing in this country. Like, he's right, like, we want this country to be great again. They're destroying the Constitution, they're tearing this country down. We need somebody that's going to be strong, stand as a man, and help us recognize and put the Constitution and illustrate the Constitution what it was written for. And Donald Trump is the person. He's going to make America great again, regardless of the color of your skin. Regardless of the color of your skin. Now Trump has come and black people don't see Trump as a white man. No, they're, they're not looking at color. They don't see him as a Democrat. They don't see him as a Republican. They see him as a man. Right. It, I guarantee you the American people will get you elected because nothing would please me better than getting Barack Obama locked up. Lock Valerie Jarrett up too. That heifer got to get locked up. Hillary too. Heifer, you get locked up. Get on over there. And I get an amen. <laughs> I, I personally believe that this is a movement. It's a movement. And I believe that we're in a situation now where this country called America is going to come back and be made great again. Isn't that right? Trump is speaking the truth, and that's why I'm here. Go Trump school. I need every last one of y'all. Every last one of y'all to go out in the town and, and, and do this for Donald Trump. Every last one of y'all. If y'all want America great, every last one of y'all need to go out there and fight for Donald Trump. I've seen the establishment run this country for many years and it led to a trillions, trillions in deficit. Let's give it to this successful man and see what he does. Let's give him a chance. You can make that difference, and you can be that difference. And I believe in you, as I believe in myself. And I believe us, and us as together, we all together can make a change. Have a good day.